This is my foot February 6th when I was talking about cracks and to continue the conversation, this is what my foot looks like today. That crack has really progressed. The way cracks happen is that they split a little bit along a flex point and then as they split, the crack continues to move upward, always upward as it's trying to flex. And because the skin somewhat is scaly heading downward toward my heel, the cracks always head up toward my toes. Now this one is starting to get painful, but it's still not bleeding. It's still not an open wound that could get infected. And I really want to take care of it before anything worse happens. So the first thing to do is cut off that flap of skin because that flap will begin to press down against my foot as I bend it, curl it inward, like curl it together. And that is actually what forces the splitting to continue going upward. And then as I've explained before, the next thing I do is I thin out the callus all the way around the, cla the crack so that it's a lot more flexible. And I also felt this crack kind of migrating toward the side of my foot, so I wanted to take the skin down over there as well. And as I began shaving, I realized that I really could use um, a thinning out on the entire side of my foot, both below and above the crack, just to prevent any other cracks from happening there. This skin is so moisturized and it is like perfect for shaving and I really should come in and do my whole foot, but I've got other things I wanna to do today, so that's gonna wait. But you can see me coming up here along the side where it's very thick and where it is really prone to cracking and I'm just taking it all down so that I have as much flexibility all around this part of my foot as possible. And here I am sort of feathering the shaving out so that it might, the ball of my foot doesn't feel weird. I'm still keeping kind of the thickness there and I'm just making sure it's a very seamless transition between where it's heavily calloused and where it's more thin and making sure to go all the way around the edge there. I decided to thin this out a little bit more too because it's starting to pull on the crack below this section, the one kind of right where my thumb is right now. Um, boop, right where this shave ended is where that other crack is beginning. And so I wanted to just take that skin down a little bit so that it's a little bit more flexible and is not going to pull at the cracking area as much or push down on it so hard, which can also make it crack. And then once I get this all evened out, which I'm doing here, I'm going to come in with the Alba Petroleum, non-petroleum jelly, un that's what it is, Alba Un-Petroleum Jelly. I love this stuff, not as a regular moisturizer because it's way too oily, but it is a heavy oil and it will keep that whole area really extra moisturized for a day or two while that crack heals completely. So I'll show you in a couple of days what it looks like once it's done uh, healing up. And in the meantime, this will help it uh, not crack anymore. All done.